What's good, what's good, and good morning from somewhere in Africa. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well. We're going to go over our friend Bitcoin. We're seeing a little bit of breakout from our falling wedge. However, it is not backed up by volume. So we're going to get into that. Currently, we're sitting at 32,118. We're up about 4% on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of 602 billion and the 24 hour volume is 26.44 billion. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey guys, if you're new to crypto.com, you can join the world's fastest crypto going app, Incredible Benefits. You receive $25 for free just for signing up through my referral. So we're gonna start here on the one hour chart. So you can see we came up and we hit resistance at 32,498. The resistance level that we had talked about in yesterday's video, which was the support now turned into resistance from our descending triangle. We are back above the EMAs here on the hourly as well as on the four hour chart. We're back above the EMAs. However, you we're starting to see a little bit of a decrease in volume. We had a nice little spike in volume. And now you can see the volume is tampering off a little bit here. So we're not able to break this level of resistance at 32,498. Then what you'll see here is we hit resistance and then we continue to roll over and continue the downtrend and it was just a little bit of a relief rally. Now what we can do here is take our Fibonacci from our previous swing high. You can see impulsive wave, corrective wave. So you take it from your swing high down to your swing low and you can see we're finding resistance on the golden ratio and you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while how crucial it is to get back above the golden ratio if you are going to see some continuation so if we do get back above the golden ratio we hold it as support your next level of resistance would be right up here at about 34.684 you can see it was a previous swing high we had a lot of support in that area as well and then of course, if you get back above the golden ratio, you get back above the 0.786, strong signal that you'll head to the 1.272 extension, which is up here at, oh, right up here at about 36,297. Now, if we get do get rejected, guys, we do have these levels of support here at 31,085, supporting this area of support here, previous level of support and a little bit of resistance as well as down here at about 28k where our wicks came down to it's also our breakdown from our descending triangle however if we do break this 32498 then our technical target will be invalidated we did come pretty close to that technical target so those were some beautiful short trade opportunities so, so i quickly want to show you guys bitcoin here on the daily chart to show you guys our falling wedge pattern now we are seeing a tiny bit of breakout if I open this up, you can see it's not backed up by much volume here. So what I would like to see before entering a long trade is that we break out and we get back above the 20 EMA and we start holding it as support and we see the 20 EMA start to come underneath and we continue to hold that support. If I were to see that, that's when I would enter my long, especially if it was backed up by some volume. We see the 55 come underneath, we have the bullish cross, and we continue on the bull run and we see a reversal in the trend. But until then, I don't trust this breakout due to the amount of fake outs that we've had, due to the fact that we've been in a downtrend for two months, due to the fact that we have shady volume. I would first like to see us get back above the 20 EMA because if we get rejected, then back down we come here and we just continue to consolidate here. Let's quickly pull up the DXY. See how the DXY is looking here. So the DXY has come back down into our rising wedge, which is a beautiful sign. We had a bit of a fake out. So what we'd wanna see if Bitcoin were to continue to rise here is the DXY falls down and test this level of support. It would be beautiful to see it break this level of support because then it would be falling out of this rising wedge and we would see the price of Bitcoin start to skyrocket, which would be absolutely beautiful after this two months of, of uh, dumping and, and downtrend and sadness. <laughs> but if you're trading, you can trade on the way up and the way down. You can check out my full length tutorial on how to trade with leverage. Bybit is now also offering spot trading. Please sign up through my referral to receive up to $600 in bonuses. Now there is something I wanted to show you guys here on the RSI. We're having a bearish divergence here on the daily. So you can see here, we're making higher highs on the chart and we're making lower highs 
on the RSI, which is a bearish divergence and signifies that the price is going to reverse. We're gonna see a reversal in the trend and the DXY will start to trend downwards, which of course will cause the price of Bitcoin to rise and we can continue on this bull run. So beautiful to see a bearish divergence here on the RSI, I believe there's a bearish divergence on the MACD as well. So you can see it here on the MACD as well. You see how the price of the DXY was rising and it's still continuing to rise, but the MACD is starting to flatten out and starting to curl downwards, which is signifying to us a reversal in the trend. So that those are some beautiful signals that we could see the DXY start to fall and see Bitcoin start to continue on this bull run, break key levels of resistance, especially 42k which is just seems like a wisp in the wind <laughs> but if we are able to break out of our falling wedge where's my chart here for my falling wedge so if we see the dxy fall out of that rising wedge that's when you'll see bitcoin break out of this pattern get back above the 20 ema get back above the 55 have the bullish cross and continue on this bull run however if the dxy does continue to rise of course you'll see bitcoin fall However, I think a breakout to the upside for Bitcoin is imminent with those bearish divergences, with the bullish divergences with Bitcoin. So let's see if we can get back above the 20 EMA here on the daily. If not, if we get rejected, I've dropped in those levels of support, 31085. And down here, which was our bottom where these wicks came down to, at about 28k but as you can see here every time we had a significant drop in price, we bounced right back up. You can see we bounced here, we had a large bounce right here. We had a very large bounce here as well. So every time the price dropped rather quickly, we bounced right back up. But we're still creating lower lows and lower highs. We are in a downtrend. So you can see these relief rallies are becoming smaller and smaller. This one was about 20%. And the one before that was larger. This rally was about 31%. And we had this rally here, which was about 22%. We had this rally, which was about 20%. You can see the bulls just haven't had the strength to reverse the trend here. But if we do break out of our falling wedge and get back above the 20 EMA, that could be the breakout we've all been waiting for. And then if we do get rejected, I've dropped in those levels of support for you guys. So that's it for this one. Just a little bit of an update here on Bitcoin. I will enter a long trade if I see us start to get back above the 20 EMA. If I see a nice little increase in volume, um, then I would enter along, but for now, I'm just waiting to see if we are able to get back above the 20 EMA or if we simply get rejected and continue the downtrend. All right, guys, so if you got any value, it goes a long way. If you smash that like button, subscribe. You can check out Bybit, receive up to $600 in bonuses. Check out the Discord, over 1,000 members, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.